The news starts now. And it is painful to stand, painful to walk, and it hurts to get up in the morning. Anyone in need of a knee replacement knows the problem here and faces weeks, if not months, of recovery after going under the knife. But you know, more and more patients are having success with something very different now, and they're, uh, they're getting partial joint replacements. Not the whole thing, just part. Dr. Joe is going to show you now why, in this case, half may indeed be better than the whole. principal of Tampa Charter School, Sheila Tomley, says she walks a lot. There's not a lot of sitting for long periods of time. I'm up and down quite frequently. <laughs> but last year, knee pain kept her out of the hallways. It begins to feel uh, swollen, inflamed. The muscles around it almost begin to, uh, to freeze up. Her only relief was to sit. My mobility has just decreased so much that I realize I'm getting around like a person much older than I really am. After other therapy failed, Dr. Grant Garlic offered her a surgery, but instead of replacing the entire knee, he'd only removed the damaged area. It's like going to the car dealership. You have one bald tire. Why get all four replaced? Replace what's worn, replace what's deficient. The inner portion of Sheila's right knee will be replaced, leaving the middle and outer portions intact. He says there's less chance for infection, and while there's no guarantee, surgery may help prevent new problems from forming in the rest of her knee. If you intercede prior to the other compartments being affected, you actually, in essence, can unload the other compartments and stop the disease progression. They're called unicompartmental knee replacements, an option more and more Americans are taking. Between 1998 and 2005, numbers jumped by 32%. Leave the ligaments intact, the knee tracks normally again. I can obtain better range of motion, less blood loss, less pain, and recovery time is, is, is far less. Sheila's surgery is over. The outside and the kneecap, no arthritis at all. And you'll be able to get out of here within a couple hours. Okay. Move to the little stop sign. And three months later, Sheila's back at school. I'm smiling about it and couldn't believe I went home in one night. And a week and a half later, I was walking without a cane. And Sheila says that practice paid off. It turned me loose, put me back to what I, I really wanted to do. As you just saw, Sheila went home the very same day as her surgery, and that is getting more common for this type of procedure. Of course, that also means she didn't have to eat any hospital food. Now, what about the risk of this? Uh, is this an option for a person who may be of surgical risk? I think it's going to depend. Obviously, the, the, the less invasive a procedure, the better. But there are some individuals who can't be put under general anesthesia. However, um, Dr. Garlic says most people are able to tolerate this procedure. Well, none of these things are uh, what we will call, I won't call them cheap, but economical. Is this one expensive or not? They're all relatively expensive, and we got some statistics from the U University of Wisconsin. They said that these unicompartmental knee replacements run around 11,000, whereas the total knee is around 16,000. However, the total knee lasts longer. Well, let's just tell you about the future of knee replacement here, Dr. Joe. Where is it going? Well, you know, I think they say less is more. <laughs> and let's hope, you know, someday we can regrow cartilage. I mean, that's my hope anyway. That's the issue, right? Right now, right? You, you, we can't do that. Stem cells we don't can't. let us do it? Not yet. Not uh. yet, but there's hope, I'm sure. All right. Well, it's a new open door here for medicine here and for a lot of patients mm -hmm. who find themselves in that difficult position of having to choose either this or nothing. Now it's something. Right. At least there's right? something there. And if they protect one part of the knee, hopefully they'll keep the other half of the knee from actually going through the same thing. Medicine we'll marches on. Thank you very much, Dr. Joe.